for an appointment I thought was gonna last about two hours. I've been here for five. So you're gonna breathe normally first, then you're gonna take a very deep breath in, then you have to blast it out. Okay. okay. Just to breathe normally. Okay, it was a good one. Just try to breathe out harder and longer. Okay. Okay? You feel okay? Uh-huh. Ready for the second time? Let's start with normal breathing. it out very hard, keep flowing out, keep flowing, keep flowing, keep flowing, keep flowing, keep flowing, keep flowing, take a very deep breath in, and back to normal. Okay, we need one more. Start with normal breathing. Pass it out very hard, keep flowing out, keep flowing, keep flowing, keep flowing, keep flowing, keep flowing, take a very deep breath in and back. Okay, you can relax for now. Oh, weird sound, my ear is horrible. I know. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the next breathing exercise. Okay. This one we have to repeat only once. Okay. Uh, for this one, you will be breathing normally, then you have to hyperventilate okay. like you are running. It's going to be like this. Okay. Okay? Yep. Uh, I will 
that you know when to start and when, when to, to stop. stop. Okay. Yes. So, give me just a second. We're going to start with normal breathing. for now, moving to the next part of our testing. I can have this. Yay! It's gonna be on the bike. Okay, keep this. Uh, I can give it back to you. Okay. You can relax for now. Okay, so the next part, after I gave a blue job to the first breathing machine, he liked it, um, I have to get on the bike and I breathed normal with no resistance um, for like two minutes and then he starts adding resistance and then I have to tell him if I have symptoms um, and I keep going until I can't go anymore and okay let's do this my battery totally died in the middle of that um, okay so I did two minutes on no resistance and then they started the resistance part of it and I think I went like five or six minutes and the um, resistance keeps going higher and higher and higher oh my gosh that's ridiculous that made me so exhausted and um, it was hard because I couldn't swallow with the mouthpiece in because my um, mouth breather, whatever, and everything got super dry and I couldn't swallow. So my ears were messing up. I was super distracted. That was rough. And all the leads coming off. Oh, those things hurt. She did that salt scrubby thing. 
Ugh, that thing always sucks. Um, and the breathing exercises and all that was super easy. It was almost like um, pulmonary function tests, like PFTs, um, which I haven't had in forever. And um, but what was super cool is I went back in the waiting room and I sat in like, I swear I sat in the EDS section and I met three other people. Um, Sandy, Veronica, and I don't remember the third one. And so we were all comparing EDS stories. It was super awesome. So hi, Sandy. Okay, so now I'm waiting for the exercise guy. His name is Kyle. And apparently he's supposed to go over the um, test stuff that I just did. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so he said change it to stra train, don't strain. Because I have to be super easy on my body so I don't crash. Because crash apparently, um, like it doesn't totally hurt what I've done. But it doesn't like increase my resistance and my conditioning of what we're trying to fix in my body. Um, he told me about a lot of cool stuff. Like I want to be able to be outside, but I'm in Texas and it's 8,000 degrees and Lordy, it's super hot to do anything out there. And so he told me about a cooling vest, like comment below if you guys have ever heard like of this. I've never heard of this. I sounds like an amazing product and it's something about two sided and you can take that shit off and then put it back on the other way. Um, like a reversible thumb -thum. Um, so that was super cool. Um, at one point he started talking about World War II. I'm not a history person and I think I checked out for a few minutes. That was a little rough. Um, but he gave me like an exercise schedule that I can handle. Um, and it just, it starts super, super, super ridiculously easy to try to get my body a little bit better. Um, obviously we're having to be so careful because my food intake is so ridiculously low. Um, he also told me about um, magnesium. There's, there's lots of different kinds, um, and not like the make it poop kind, but like there's one called magnesium. He said he likes malate. He said the dietitian likes glucinate, glucerate, yeah, something like that. Um, but he said it might help me sleep. And so that would be like super amazing. Can I drink? It's not Gatorade. It's a lie. It's an advertising lie. Um, what else did you tell me? We talked about grounding, which I thought was super cool because I just learned about it like a couple weeks ago. Um, we talked about warm up and he gave me some ideas of what I can do. And there were certain things um, that were having to adjust because I can't have anything on my stomach because any pressure on my stomach is like super awful and I'm gonna puke all over you, which I don't think anybody really enjoys. If that's your kink, I'm totally judging you. Um, so I got my cardiac zone based off the metabolic stress test. So my target rate is between 136 and 154. And he taught me how to take my, um, like what my target rate is, even without wearing anything. You just take your pulse for six seconds. And so it's anywhere between like 13 and 15 is my rate. So I thought that was really cool because I didn't have to buy anything else because I didn't really want to do that, but I probably will because like, I like looking cute. Oh, look at my shorts, aren't they adorable? And my pretty ink. Yay, pretty. Um, what else? Cooling vest. So I have my whole schedule. Oh my gosh, he told me about something called adaptive herbs. Adapt. I wrote it down. I don't even think I can read my own handwriting. I was getting tired. Um, so anyways, we were talking about probiotics, which haven't really helped me in the past, but he gave me some other ones to try, so I might try that. And then I've got my, um, you can't really see it. It's over there. There we go. There's my plan of what I can do, and then I'll increase every two weeks. Um, like a tiny little increase, like a minute more every two weeks to try to see how it goes. So anyways, oh my god, isn't this awesome? I think you like push buttons. I totally want to push them. Oh, man. I was totally let down. <laughs> I hope you guys are good. Um, hopefully this is going to be kind of the start of getting better. Good God, let's hope so. So now I'm waiting because apparently my cardiologist has to check off, no, sign off on my um, exercise plan with Kyle. And then we'll go from there. So for an appointment, I thought I was going to last about two hours. I've been here for five hours. 
that is the reality of medical appointments. They are so rough 